segment tonight of uh, one pan cooking, mitt in one pan cooking. I just got off work, I don't know, the chef coat and everything, just got off work here at Charlie's Mountain View, side of Government Camp, Oregon, yeah, that's where we're at here. And uh, we're gonna cook a little uh, sandwich today. You guys should know how to make a, a decent sandwich, okay? We're gonna make one of my favorites, uh, a fresh halibut sandwich. I've been making this 20 years out of Alaska and stuff. It's gonna melt in your mouth, okay? But let me tell you, this ain't for the whole gang. This stuff here will sell for about eight, nine, ten dollars a pound fresh in the store. So you ain't feeding the whole neighborhood with this stuff. You know, man, you just watch a football game, you know, and your your favorite team lost, you're feeling kind of down. So, hey, just go on in the kitchen, make yourself a little snack. You know, you're gonna feel better. This is fresh, simple, and it's all gonna be cooked in one pan in just a couple minutes. And uh, we're gonna show you the ingredients here. We got the halibut. We got a little butter we're gonna saute it in, a little salt and pepper, fresh lemon. We got some beautiful uh, uh, Tillamook cheese from the Oregon coast here, Tillamook cheese. A little loaf of bread, a little garnish here we're gonna put on the sandwich, you know. Looks fancy, huh? Yeah, whatever. It's a couple pieces of lettuce, a couple slices of tomatoes, a couple slices of onions, you know. Look, fancy, not so fancy, fancy, not so fancy. It's easy, okay? A little tartar sauce, you can put Thousand Island on, just mayonnaise, whatever. It's a sandwich, it's your sandwich. Put on it what you like. This is the things I like on my sandwich. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, a little white wine we gotta we gotta cook with, so don't drink it all before you get to cooking. Boy, that is a good classic Kendall Jackson. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> so when we get to cooking here, we're gonna we're gonna need a little bit of uh, fresh lemon juice. You can you can get the stuff in the bottle, but I like fresh stuff. So now to to juice it, just roll it back and forth with your palm. Don't squeeze it too tight; you'll bust it. <laughs> Roll it back and forth a couple times, you know, get it, oh yeah, yeah, she's feeling a little softer. Cut it right in half. Then we're gonna be ready to juice them right into our, on our halibut here in a minute. Okay, so we're ready to cook now here. We're gonna, of course you're gonna cook, you gotta bring the ingredients over to the, over to the heat. We're gonna be cooking in our one pan here. First thing you gotta learn about cooking is, hello, turn on the heat. <laughs> That's the first thing you gotta learn. Hey, here we go. <laughs> I like using gas, gas is the best. Okay, so we're gonna start heating our pan up here. You know, put in a little uh, butter, margarine. You can do it in olive oil, whatever you got. It does, it's not that complicated, okay? It's not that complicated. We're gonna put a little fresh lemon juice on our fish there to start with. Watch out for them seeds. You'll, you'll know if you've got a seed in there, it'll be bitter. A little salt and pepper on it. A little salt and pepper, there we go. Looks fancy, huh? It's all blended up. Yeah, it's salt and pepper. I'm sure you boys got this in your closet. <laughs> or in the cupboard somewhere, yeah. Nothing too fancy. Don't forget the wine. We're gonna need a little bit. Don't drink all this before you get to cooking the fish. I warned you, you'll need some of it. Tell her she's getting hot. She's starting to sizzle now. Can you hear that? Well, that was me. <laughs> okay. So we're just gonna take and put our our halibut. Ooh, this is nice. This is a nice piece of halibut. Now you can use any kind of fish. You could use a snapper. You could you could use any kind of white fish. I prefer a white fish for this dish. Okay. And if it's if you got a real thick piece, the only thing is it might gonna take a little bit longer to cook. That's all. Okay. A little a little salt and pepper on this side. Watch out for them lemon seeds. We're gonna put a little bit more lemon juice on there. Okay. And remember, save a little wine. I'm gonna let her cook a little bit here on this one side. Okay. Now normally I'd, I'd just flip it over, but you won't know how to do that or make a mess. You got a little bit of liquid in the pan here and stuff. I'm gonna let her cook a couple, couple minutes there on this side, okay? Then we're gonna turn her over, okay? Carefully now, watch out. Ooh, boy, how it looks. She's already cooking up pretty nice there. Looking pretty nice, okay? Now, we really are gonna use some of this white wine here. <laughs> you didn't believe it. You thought I was gonna drink it all. No, we're gonna put a little in there. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> that lid on it. While it's cooking, we're gonna, we're gonna roll a little film of, of uh, uh, some uh, Ski bowl 
pawn skimming. <laughs> pawn surfing, whatever them boys called it. They try to get from one side of the puddle to the other without falling in, basically. I think that's what they're aiming for. So how'd y'all like that pond scumming, man? Some of them didn't quite make it, did they? Oh well, <laughs> it happens, never mind. Okay, we're gonna... You just don't want the pan to get completely dry and stuff, so add, add a little, add a little bit more lemon juice, and if you really have to, another little, another little tablespoon of wine. Easy on the wine, though. Don't want to run out before, you, before your sandwich is done. Hey, and if you don't have a lid, I know that looks fancy, you got a lid, you ain't got a lid. Maybe you got a not so fancy plate. Boy, howdy, that works as a lid. <laughs> Nothing to it, never mind. All right, let's, let, let's take a peek here and see how she's doing. Now careful, this lid will get hot or your plate. Okay, so grab a towel or whatever you got, an old sock or whatever, just so you don't burn your fingers. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. She's getting pretty good, boy. Look how tender this fish is. And you're going, how long do I cook it? Is it going to be done? Well, take a peek. Okay, it's just about done. Look, this is firm. This is still raw in the middle, but it's just about done. Okay, so now is going to be the time we're going to put on that beautiful Tillamook cheese right on top. We're going to layer, oh boy, how do we're going to layer two, three pieces of this stuff up right on top. Heck, we're going to use it all. There we go. We're going to put that on. And then, ooh, I hate to do it, but it's getting a little dry. Ah, maybe I should use some water. <laughs> turn her down low, turn her down low. Now you got your cheese on. And we're just gonna leave it in there for another minute or two until that cheese melts. In the meantime, we're, go we're gonna get our sandwich all ready, our bread out and everything over here. You can use any kind of bread. This is pretty nice here. There's a little light dill rye and stuff we're using today here. And uh, like I said, I know this looks fancy. You can you can buy tartar sauce in a jar. You can make your own if you want, you know. It's mayonnaise, pickles, lemon juice, a little salt and pepper. It ain't nothing to it. But that's another show. Anyway, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna hello, we're just gonna put a little bit of this here tartar sauce on, on both sides. I like a little bit on both sides. Okay, spread it around a little bit. Hello, you guys don't know how to make a sandwich yet? You know how to make a sandwich, but we're talking one gourmet sandwich here in a minute. We're gonna, we're gonna be eating. And remember, don't answer the door while you're answering, while you're eating this sandwich. Don't even let them know you know how to make a good sandwich like this. This is for you. You at home. Halibut's gonna be like nine, ten dollars a pound. Here we are. We're ready. We are ready. And I think that fish is just about done. Let's go take a peek. Let's see if that cheese melts again. Boy, howdy, how'd that happen? <laughs> Surprise myself some days. <laughs> now you're gonna need a spatula. We're gonna carefully take this out of the pan here and, 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 and place it on our sandwich here. Boy, howdy, look like I cut that piece to order or something. Fit on there perfect. <laughs> Never mind. Done with our pan. Remember, here. All it takes is one pan. Even when we don't have a bunch of pots and pans clean up, one pan is all it's going to take. You want to lay them goodies on there, whatever you like, the lettuce, tomato, a couple of onions. Slap that top piece of bread on there. Cut this baby in half. Boy, howdy. McDonald's eat your heart out. <laughs>